Hi everybody, this is Frida at VIP Your Vibe. Gave the baby a bath, he's laying down. He's back with Pisces. London Bridge. Hi. We don't talk no more like we used to do. Come on. Come on. What? Come on. Okay, so this is for Pisces, Pisces. How's everybody doing? Welcome all new subscribers. Y'all know who that is. Independence leaving me, baby. Okay, so... My name is Alfreda D. I'm here to help you to identify your spiritual blocks on your shocks. We're going to keep it simple and consistent, okay? And we're talking about the divine feminists, the divine uh, masculines, and the karmic journeys, and all that good stuff, okay? You have to create a position of strength on your journey. So what's always on my board is create that position of strength, okay? You have to create a position of strength on your journey. One of the ways is following your heart. Self-reflection, self-healing, and self-empowerment is one of the ways you can create a position of strength on your journey. When you examine yourself with the cold eye, you create a position of strength on your journey, Pisces. When you analyze the way you move and reclaim the power, okay, you're developing skills at this point of inner strength. Okay? This is where I tell you to pop your blocks. Okay? Stop the self-created demons. Energy. Also, stop the watching, wondering, waiting energy. Everybody at one point in time in their life has had a problem with wondering, waiting, wishing. I got to wait till the kids get over to go to school. I got to wait till you, I can't go to school because my husband's hours are not right. Somebody got to be home to watch the kids. Not nowadays, you can do that shit online. So, there's no excuse about college no more. No excuse about going to school no more. No excuse. Okay. Wondering if I start this business, if it's going to work. When you start a business, you're not supposed to watch a business. Especially if your intention is, is, is properly correct. Okay. All right. So this is called London Bridge is Falling Down. My fair lady. Okay. We got some fair ladies out here. All right. So let's get started. Let's see what you got going on, Pisces. Oh, I can't wait to move. Mm -mm -mm. See, Pisces. Okay, Deuteronomy is their first card. Reading any scripture can definitely create a position of strength on your journey, okay? Because Father says, seek you shall find. Father says, you have to seek the truth. The truth has been hidden. Okay, so these nations you are forcing out. Listen to fortune tellers. The nation, this is Deuteronomy. What is this? Chapter 18, verse 14. These nations you are forcing out, listen to fortune tellers and those who practice black magic. Rebellion, adultery, or arrogance. Revelation, the light of the lamp. Come with your third eye. Will never shine in you again. Oh, ouch. Voice of the bridge. And bride. Okay. Voice of the bridge and bride. We never hurting you. Okay, so the bridge, the voice of the bridge and the bride. Pisces. Ugh. Damn. Ugh. R.I.P. So you got a snake can't bite unless it gets close. Pop it off. Okay, hold on. 
Because I don't want to. Yeah. Okay, London Bridge. Yeah, Father's saying to the London Bridge emperors here, these nations are forcing you out. You're being forced out. Yeah, there's a Pisces out here being forced out. Yeah, because you was because you didn't RP that snake shit. You're being forced out because you guys is practicing black magic. Father says here, fortune telling, black magic. So you're doing the fortune telling to be a snake. That's what I'm picking up to create that position of strength. You didn't do no inner preparation. You was doing outer preparation. RIP. Some shit. You know what you needed to RIP. You fill in the blanks. And then it says rebellion. You you were in rebellion energy. Outer, our, our, you was arrogant. This Pisces was very arrogant. It says the light of a lamp will never shine in you again. Father's about to shut down some, some people's third eyes. Damn. And it says the voice of the bridge of the bride and the groom. The bride and the groom is the masculine and the feminine. That means you lost your bride and you lost your groom. That's what the fuck that means. Yeah. That's Deuteronomy. Uh, chapter 18, 14. Wow. Mm -hmm. Woo, I just got a funny stomach pit in my stomach. That's crazy. Because you try to create a position of strength. Uh, wait a minute. This lid says pieces. Okay, you was two faced. You was in two minds, in two places. Shit, just flipping all over this. We are gonna do that again. Yeah, Pisces. Yeah, that's a big. You was in Virgo. Virgo has something to do with this. Two face. It was in two minds in two places. Uh huh. Y'all being forced out. Yeah. Yeah. London Bridge is being forced out. Okay, Psalms 91. So now y'all praying. You need protection. You need to pray for protection. Yeah, you need this. The Pisces out here. Yeah, London Bridge Empress. The London Bridge emperors need to pray for protection. Yeah. Psalms 91. Y'all in a snake pit, my friend. And this shit is real life shit right here. Uh, this shit energy right here. I told you your energy will shape you, shift you, or shit you, my friends. Okay. What you resist will, pers will persist. So what are you resisting, Pisces? Let me give you a good mix. What are you resisting? Transformation. You're resisting your transformation. And what it's saying, what you resist will persist. So you guys are going to go through your transformation anyway. It says self motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker self. What did I write? Self motherfucker. See the beauty. I don't know what the fuck I wrote. I don't know what I wrote. But anyway, that means transformation. You're resisting your. There's a Pisces out here uh, on the bridge. It's resisting his tra transformation. Because you've been in two places and two, and you've been in two places and two minds in your energy. A snake can't bite unless it get close. So you guys are trying to get close to somebody to be a snake and bite him. You can't get close. Yeah, a snake can't bite unless it get close. So you guys was trying to get close to somebody. There's a Pisces trying to get close to somebody to bite him, but you can't get close. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how y'all talk about getting close. But I won't even talk to my spiritual connection unless it's a fence. I talk to you. Yeah, you stay your ass behind that fence. I'll talk to you through the, the electric fence. Okay, it says um, Psalms. Okay, overcome workplace witchcraft. Chapter, five, uh, chapter 1835, 101, 117. So there's some workplace witchcraft going on, Pisces. For Pisces. So there's a Pisces out here 
there's some witchcraft going on workplace witchcraft so if you at work having issues because somebody's doing some witchcraft baby that's five psalms uh for workplace witchcraft there is a prayer scripture for that yes yeah, scripture for work, work for workplace witchcraft yeah for sure uh, chapter 18, 35, 101, 117. Okay, because you need that self-balancing, my friend. However, it's more important to observe it in yourself than in someone else. It may awaken the pain body. It can form its anger and rage. Okay, so depression, they need to have some drama. Catch it in a moment it awakens from its dormant state. The pain body. Okay, so there's a Pisces out here. Yeah, you having drama at work, my friend. So it's saying you need to start observing. You need to look at your own eye. Stop judging people and talking about people. And observe it in yourself first. Okay? That's what needs to happen with Pisces. But you're resisting transformation. Stop. Don't let the mind use the pain to label and cable and create a, vi a victim for yourself. Identity. So you guys let your mind. When you identify with your mind, you allow, you allow your mind to create a victim identity for yourself feeling sorry for yourself and telling others about your story okay what you dive with is what you vibe with this is why you keep attracting some of these same past situations because you're staying stuck in your story you won't turn the damn page every author has a beginning and an ending start painting isaiah chapter 2 6 for you have rejected your people it says the house of jacob because they are full of things from the east Fortune tellers, like the Philistines, they strike hand with the children of the foreigners, Pisces. So emperor from the London Bridge. You guys use magic to build your London Bridge. Y'all have rejected the word of God. It says for you, so you need to read Isaiah chapter 2 verse 6. For you have rejected for your people. For you have rejected for your people the house of Jacob. So whoever this particular emperor is, you reject it. You reject it. You went to, you acted like the foreigners and went to the foreigners. Like Deuteronomy is saying, you are being forced out now because you continue to use practice black magic, fortune telling, whoring after it, and it says the light of your lamp will never shine in you again. Ugh, ouch. Man, I know that's for somebody. Honey, y'all didn't. Now you're trying to get some type of self balancing here. Okay. Yeah, father kicking your ass out the lands. Can y'all see me shuffle? Okay, that's better. Okay, because you had an attitude problem. You want to adjust your motherfucking attitude. Yeah, you got an attitude issue. No self-awareness that you got a fucking attitude. You sleeping around. Yeah, y'all was sleeping around, acting like Somali and Gamora. Desire other people's traits and status. So you guys put yourself uh, to mastermind. Because see, the, the, the London Bridge emperors wanted somebody's traits and status and abilities. That's what happened to the London Bridge emperors. Okay, so they they mastermind that. Okay, so what they did was they 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 try to create this energy field by sleeping with each other. Okay, because that's how the double Illuminati do. You know that's how the double do. They all have sex with each other to create a position of strength by doing this magic. Okay, it says right here. Dang, you got a lot of scriptures coming out. Uh, uh, London Bridge Emperors. Uh, Isaiah chapter 19 verse 3 and the spirit of the Egyptians within them will be empty out and I will confound their counsel and inquire of their idols and their sorcerers and your mediums. Okay, check this. So you you London Bridge Empress, y'all was called mediums, what is this, narrow macers? Y'all was sorcery. So father said he wants your head shit. Like I said today, their counsel. He inquire of their idols. They want your head, yeah. Y'all ain't got back up, break up. Yeah, father break. Zamba. Yeah, father breaking the. Yeah, so break up means the London Bridge is falling down. Yeah, Pisces, 
I've never had. You got three scriptures out here, my dude. Isaiah chapter 2, verse 6. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 3. Deuteronomy chapter 18 to uh, 14. You need protection. Psalms 91. Simba! Baby sleep. What you doing? Okay, let me see. What? You see he's asleep? You wake, you wake him up, you're going to entertain him. I'm not playing with you. I'll have to start putting you on YouTube. Because you something special. You be doing shit. I don't know where you come from. I don't. I really don't. I have to have conversations with you like you, you stand on two legs, my friend. What the hell? Obstacle. Now you guys have an obstacle. And what it, the obstacle was, you guys was on this Who I Am blocks. And I told you, Who I Am blocks block your shocks. Okay? Because I'm about to sum y'all up in front of you. See, there was an obstacle in front of you for your highest good, but y'all didn't pay attention. Father gave y'all time to regroup. I didn't do that. The door, you, the door that refused to open. Okay? So there's a Pisces out here. This is this is changing gear. There's a Pisces out here. There was a door that at one of the one of the London Bridge emperors. There was a door that did not open for you, and it was for your highest good. This particular emperor, okay, Father's gonna give you time to regroup, baby. Okay, the door that refused to open, so he said, "Relax." You know who that's for, okay? That's for one of them emperors to start who stopped that fuck. So there's a Pisces emperor out here who was actually praying. Yes, he is mastering his mind. Why the other the other ones didn't master their mind? This particular emperor is mastering his motherfucking mind. You got him twisted. Yeah, you got him twisted. Yeah, it's out here. So the obstacle father, yeah. Okay, so you are right. So you you start this this particular place, you started healing and transforming his limited behavior. Got some clarity and some inner strength. Mm-hmm. He paid attention to his repetitive thoughts. Okay, this particular emperor, he mastered his emotions. Okay. He self-improved his thoughts. He figured out his thoughts was got him caught. Okay, he repented and he developed those skills of inner strength. Okay. Yes, yes, he did. So this particular emperor had his tower moment, honey. Mm-hmm. It says so. Now, this particular emperor had a tower moment. Let's go back to the other the other London Bridge emperors. This is a time, again, to keep positive attitude as much understanding and insights. So, emperor, you kept a positive attitude during this tower moment. There's a tower moment coming for you, emperors. For you, London Bridge emperors. Okay, let's, fa let's finish this because I'm done. I don't want too long. Self-reflecting is needed, my friends. Unconditional love. You had a, you guys had a choice between two doors. You guys chose conditional love. Okay. So now you're in spiritual warfare. So you may need to read Psalms 91, 40, 27, 18, 121. Okay. Because you have to ask yourself a question. You need to balance your masculine and feminine energy, London Branch Emperors. You are asked to address. So you like to guys put address instead of addressing. Are you being overly assertive or aggressive, London Bridge Emperors? Yeah. Were you too passive or too dependent on others giving away? Yeah. Too dependent on others giving away your power. Are you being ruthless, ignoring ethical considerations? Your ass, you may be too dependent upon either your masculine or your feminine role energy. You're not confined to any one role. Maybe you're ignoring the, the reality that you need help, honey. Okay. Because you're negative. So you need to read 2 Corinthians. What does that say? Chapter 11. What? Verse 4. Thank you very much. And you need to fast because y'all have a drinking issue. And stop blaspheming, blaspheming please. Uh-huh. Vocalizing the church. The belief of your opinions about the church. That's the, uh, speaking irreverently about God or sacred things. Disrespect shown. Okay. So that's it for Pisces. Okay, London Bridge. Uh, let's see. Let's get you together, Pisces. So let's sum this all up, my friends, so you can understand. First. You're in two places, two minds. Okay. What this, what the London Bridge Emperor did, you guys consorted with fortune tellers. You guys dug up, called up on the dead. Yeah. Y'all caught up on the dead practicing magic. Deuteronomy 18.14. So Father's forcing you, you Father's forcing y'all out. He says the light of the lamp will never shine again. That's your third eye, my friend. Okay. Because y'all didn't RIP your snake shit. Instead, instead of RPing your snake shit, you call yourself being a mastermind 
because you call yourself being a mastermind. Uh huh. You, you London Bridge Empress call yourself being a mastermind because y'all wanted somebody else's trait, situation, status. Okay. So y'all figure if y'all slept around with each other, gathering up all the feminine energy, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. By going to fortune tellers and, and, and causing up mediums, okay, you rejected the word of the people, the house of Jacob. Uh huh. And and who it says the house of Jacob, the fuller from the uh, east, and fortune tellers like the Philistines, they strike the hand with children of foreigners. So you made a bet with the foreigners. Uh huh. Whatever that means to you, RIP that shit, okay, because y'all was on that who I'm, I am blocks. Okay, so what you resist was persist, and what come up with that? You resisting your transformation, mm hmm. Because you have the who I am, <laughs> what you vibe, what you die with, my friend. Drinking issues, y'all try to develop the skills of inner strength. Okay, by going to the y'all thought developing skills, creating a, a position of strength was going to the fortune tellers and bring mediums and shit, calling us different spirits. Yeah, okay. No self-awareness. Y'all gonna have a tower. Bridge is coming down because y'all need because because of your limited be but belief systems. Now it's breaking down because y'all didn't do no self-reflection, my friend. Y'all had two doors to choose for unconditional and conditional love. Y'all chose conditional love. You didn't do no self-improvement on your thoughts. No self-balancing whatsoever. You didn't pay attention to your thoughts because your thought was got, got you caught. Okay. Y'all refused to change your attitude. Okay. So create that position of strength on your journey. You need to meditate fast, make your uh, flesh submit because your flesh is raising war on the spirit and the spirit is raising war on the flesh. I tell you all the time, these are spiritual blocks. I did not pop your blocks, okay? Pop your box to pop your blocks. You got to open up the box, right? Take shit, look, look around and pop your blocks, okay? I did not do that. So, develop the skills, inner strength. Stop the watching, worrying, and waiting. Emperors, all right? So no uh, Pisces, no no zodiacs came out with you, none at all. All right. So take care, you guys. Share and subscribe. Um, I'll be advertising my vibrational assessments, getting a schedule together. Okay. So anyway, you guys take care, and uh, push the button and share. That's all I can say. I hope this can um, help somebody. You always have to create a position of strength on your journey first, and you start there with your thoughts. Okay, if you guys are so busy trying to work yourself out to end, you got to work yourself in, then you work yourself out. All right, pop your box to pop your blocks. All right, talk to y'all later. Oh, wait a minute, let's go out with a bang. Hold up, hold up. Wait a minute, honey. Yeah, that's good. Wait a minute. Okay, so we're going to come back with um, Spirit said do Libra. Okay, we're going to come back with Libra. All right, talk to y'all later. You want me to do Libra? Okay, all right, talk to y'all later. VIP your vibe. Okay, I'm free to dig. Be back. Intermission. Wait a minute. Talk to y'all later. I'm going to intermission. VIP, your advice. I want to take a dive. Remember what you play in, you play out, my friend. All right? Be consistent. Self-determined. Okay? Do your self-assessment, self-inspection, inner preparation, not out of preparation. Talk to you later. VIP, your advice.